There we go, New Order Blue Monday. And I know it's not Monday, but that's all right. 8 11 in the morning, good morning, Double R Radio. Uh, totally 80s morning show. I'm kind of got my cafecito working right now. Uh, my coffee's right here. My coffee's. By the way, um, I'm uh, drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee. I'm giving Dunkin' Donuts a plug. Um, you know how you can buy those one shot coffee little deals at the HEB or whatever? Um, Usually I buy that um, Cafe Olay coffee. I get either Houston Blend, Texas Pecan, or what's that other one I get? I forgot. But anyways, then I, I've been trying a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. It's pretty good. Only it, it makes you want a donut. It really, really does. Anyway, by the way, I used to have a deal that used to work at Dunkin' Donuts, but he quit. He got tired of the whole business. Nah, not funny. Okay, not funny. Good morning, Chad. Good night, Chad. <laughs> hey man, cut me some slack here, okay? It's Wednesday, okay? Cut me some slack. Anyways, well, GS, I tell you what. Um, yesterday, yesterday was uh, one for the record books. Let me just say this. Yesterday I was doing some running around, doing whatever I was going to do, and then I stopped by Bill Miller's. All true, I stopped by Bill Miller's, and I wanted to get myself, you know, a three-piece chicken. But I've come to the conclusion that those three-piece chickens of Bill Miller's, you don't get too much meat. Really, man, it's puro hueso. You know, it's all breading, it's all bone, you don't get too much meat. So, I decided to get the chicken strips. And the chicken strips were simply awesome yesterday. You get three, what do you get? You get three strips, french fries, a roll, a tea for $7.10. And I even told the girl at the register, is there any way you can throw in a sexual favor? She said, no, I can't. I said, are you sure? She goes, yes, I'm sure. And I go, all right, so someone's with a sexual favor. What are you going to do? Anyways, let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. I'm hungry. I am. I skipped dinner yesterday. I'm speaking of food, and I got hungry all of a sudden. If I were to be at a taqueria, I'd say, uh, I'd be right to those taquerias. Hola, señor, como le puedo ayudar? Those taquerias, man, they don't know a word of English. Como le puedo ayudar? <laughs> Let me try my Spanish here. Dame un taco de pifol. Con banquillo, y dame un taco de carne guisada, y dame un taco de, este, uh, vamos a ver, un guacamole con queso, por favor. Really, man, all those taquerias, they don't know one word of English. They really, really don't. <laughs> they really don't. Anyways, I tell you what this day, let's see what's going on here in this crazy world. Check this out, crazy story. <laughs> man, this one cracked me up. A man thought he would improve his basketball skills by playing naked on the public court. Well, anyways, this is the man was arrested Sunday afternoon at 7.30 and charged with indecent exposure because he was trying to play basketball naked, claiming it would improve his basketball skills. Well, as the, uh, after all the girls quit laughing, they called the cops. <laughs> they called the cops. <laughs> and by the way, uh, those little two things down there that he had when they saw the basketball, they both said, Tata! <laughs> they thought that was dad over there. Anyways, good morning, Chad. I got up to Cindy Coronado. Good morning. Today's my birthday. Good morning, Cindy. Happy birthday. By the way, Cindy, how old are you? If you want to go ahead and just kind of, you know, throw it out there. How old are you, Cindy? It's good to know. We can talk about it a little bit, see what's going on. Anyway, so anyways, a man for playing basketball naked is in jail. There you go. Now, check this out. Crazy story. McDonald's employee got in a fight with a customer over a straw. Well, anyways, it's the, a person asked the employee, can I get a straw? And he gave him a straw. And he, can I get another straw? He gave him another straw. Third straw, he goes, that's it. No more straws for you. Well, the customer said, and screw you, and got a whole bunch of straws. And the, and the McDonald's employee got a hold of them, and they started throwing chingasos and all this other good stuff. And, and there you have <laughs> McDonald's, man. I'm telling you, man. McDonald's always reminds me of this girl I used to date back in the early 80s. Uh, why? Because, you know, their Big Macs were kind of like the girl I was seeing. They both had sesame seed buttons. Nah, not many. Okay. Nah, not many. Not many. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Handyman DJ Edward Castillo. Listen up, man. If you guys are looking for somebody to take care of business at your house, no, not that kind of business. You know, take care of business. You know, you, you need somebody to cut your grass or nail something down or you're going to get nailed. Or if you need some caulking, some sheet rock, whatever the case, man, Handyman Edward Castillo, he's your guy. He really is. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Double R Radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo. Good morning. Cindy Coronado says, I'm 58 today, Robert. 
Hey, Cindy, I'm 58 also. There we go. It's the Double R Radio sponsor, DJ Edward Castillo. Good morning, Double R Radio sponsor, DJ Abel Martinez. Good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez. Let me know, Double R Radio sponsor. Good morning, Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what else is going on here. Check this out. Um, I didn't know about this. Anyways, a woman was arrested at a Walmart when she tried passing counterfeit money. Well, what she did to try to get away with it, she sprayed the counterfeit money with starch to fool the detection. Detection markers. There you go. You know how they get a, you give them a 20 and they get a little marker and they scratch it like that to make sure that it's not fake or whatever the case would be. Well, she put starch on it. And she claimed she thought that she would get away with it. She didn't. She's in jail. There you go. Um... Now, <laughs> there's the one that, that cracked me up, man. Check this out. Crazy story. Let me see here. Do I have enough time for this? Uh, yes, I do have enough time. Check this out. Crazy story. A breathalyzer technician was suspended for asking a DUI suspect for a date. How in the hell does that work? You get pulled over, right? Thinking that you, you're a DUI driving under the influence. So... The driving under the influence breathalyzer technician shows up, and while he's giving the person a breathalyzer, says, Hey, baby, uh, you want to go on a date? <laughs> really? I never thought about this one. I can try that. <laughs> right? Right? All right, look, I go to a bar. Oh, hey, baby, honey, corazón, have I got a breathalyzer for you? Come on over here. <laughs> right? Good morning, John. out in the anyways, going on to... Edward Castillo, handyman. Anyways, uh, what time is it? It's uh, eight seventeen in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio, totally eighties. Let's get it going. Let's do something by Nana, ninety nine balloons and all that other good stuff. Good morning, Chad. I got up to Sylvia, neighbor Delion. There we go, Mr. Neighbor Delion. Let's get it going. Anyway, totally eighties morning show. Thanks for waking up with me, Double R Radio, streaming. Where am I at? Oh yeah, San Antonio, Texas. Join me right now, Robert Rivers Radio dot com. What are they? There we go. The radio station is going. I got my coffee going right here. Did y'all check out the basketball game last night? Golden State Warriors and the Portland Trail Blazers. It was a boring game, man. Game one, I understand, but it was boring. It was so boring, I changed the channel. And I put on Judge Judy. Judge Judy, she's my kind of woman. She really is. Let's get back to the morning show. Totally 80s. Join me now. RobertRebusRadio.com. Simple. RobertRebusRadio.com. Just click on that blue button, man, and you'll be joining me live. Join me now.